Hello, my name is Stephen Blau. I'm a regional sales manager for Labo America. Today I'd like to introduce the most effective ways to demonstrate our Prima line to physicians. What we have here is our Prima range of ENT, dental, and GN microscopes. As you already know, electronics, illumination, and arms are common across the line. The differentiation comes in carrier types, orientation, as well as viewing head type. In ENT, doctors must examine patients in an upright, supine, or angled seated position. Hence, the microscope is positioned at various angles, which calls for a straight viewing head in line with the microscope. In dentistry, we know patients are mostly lying flat, so the tilting head is used to enable most, the most ergonomic viewing angle for greater comfort. For a colposcope, the head type is straight as standard and can be offered with a 45 degree angle as well, given the seated position of the patient in relation to the doctor. What we need to educate doctors about is what sets the various brands of microscopes apart today. These are broken down into three critical differentiators, optics, mechanics, and illumination. To begin with, it is important to point out that our apochromatic optics offer a three color correction ensuring the highest degree of color fidelity. Hence color rendition is more true to life. Additionally, our unique max light coatings employ a molecular level of anti-reflective coatings which ensure truly strain free optics with less stray light. This results in a more even field of illumination with superior contrast. Overall, this will yield a doctor superior image fidelity. With respect to mechanics, all critical mechanical components and features in the Prima line are designed for low wear, ensuring smooth, responsive movements with fewer servicing issues down the road, meaning little or no downtime for the doctor. Lastly, and possibly the most important differentiator today, is illumination design. Light is critical in medical applications, and only the intensity, not only the, in the intensity, but the quality and color temperature. The conventional technology, halogen, has a 500 hour lifespan and tends to have a yellow color temperature and produces roughly 60,000 lux. Lux is a measure of light intensity. This results in an image with a biased color as well as added cost with bulb replacements and more downtime. Another technology available is xenon, which produces 80,000 lux, an order of magnitude brighter than halogen and more ideal for light hungry applications such as dental and ENT fields. However, once again, bulb life is rated very low at 200 to 300 hours, and bulbs are very costly. The Prima line uses a superior bright LED that produces well over 80,000 lux, brighter than most conventional halogen and xenon sources, and lasts an unprecedented 60,000 hours. This creates the possibility of never having to change a bulb in the lifetime of the microscope. In addition, the light produces a more natural daylight color temperature, freeing doctors from color temperature bias. For added convenience, we have also integrated our power supply and illumination systems within our swivel arm, reducing the overall footprint of the system. Now for the demonstration. Set all the tension knobs to minimum contact so that there is minimal resistance with no drift, so you have a more free-flowing movement, as demonstrated. Then you demonstrate the controls. First we have the rheostat for light intensity conveniently placed directly over the doctor's head while he's seated. Next we have a cluster of controls including the mag change knobs, 
ergonomic handles, fine focus, and a filter selector. The ergonomic handles can be adjusted by pulling them out and away from the microscope and rotating them, rotating them to the ideal position like so. The CMO also has a fine focus control. The position of this control can be changed for left-handed or right-handed use. We also have on dental models a CMO that comes standard with an objective protector that shields the optics from water, spray back, and debris. The filter selector on the DNT and ENT models come with yellow and green filters. Yellow filters are helpful in slowing down the curing of resins and epoxies in dentistry. The green filter is also known as the blood-free filter, reducing the effect of red on the eye, making procedures with blood discharge less tiring for the doctor. In the case of the Prima GN, a green blood-free filter comes standard as gynecologists typically request this. Lastly, our eyepieces have a convenient dioptric lock for sitting your diopters in a retractable eye guard. It's important to show the client the significance of the LED indicator. When the system is live, the LED glows green. When the doctor wants to talk with the patient without light glaring or doesn't have the ease to turn the system off, he or she can position the suspension arm into the park position where the indicator will turn red showing that the system's cooling is still running, but the power to the LED is cut off. Space is often scarce in a doctor's office. That's why it's important to educate doctors on the various mounting types available. In addition to our floor stand with lockable caster wheels, we also have wall mounts and ceiling mounts. The systems are further made modular with a host of accessories. For digital documentation, we have our iView S5 HD 5 megapixel camera that integrates seamlessly between the mag change body and the head. For those that want to avoid the digital route but need to have two observers, we offer our assistant viewing bridge. This is, a more common, this is more common for surgical procedures where the assistant needs to have maximum field of view and resolution possible, which is, we know is sometimes sacrificed when going with a digital solution. In addition to our digital accessories, we have several eyepiece options that doctors must be made aware of for augmenting magnification. A range of CMOs is also available if your client needs a different working distance. Working distance is the distance between the objective and the object being focused upon. Lastly, a long suspension arm with roughly 250 millimeters of additional suspension arm length is available for those doctors that want to use a wall or ceiling mount to provide further offset from the patient's chair.